Here at home, a group of local quilters have been sewing messages of care and hope to Ukrainians pushed out to Poland. So far, more than 100 quilts have been delivered to these families and more are on the way. But this time, they're inviting the community to lend a hand. 70s Christian Galeno has more. Laughing, but we're sewing while we're doing it. Yeah. Yes, it's we're so lucky to have something that we enjoy so much and has a nice benefit to it. The ladies of the Tehachapi Mountain Quilters are on a mission to send love and comfort to displaced Ukrainians. We still have the energy and enthusiasm to do more. It's just a way of letting this group of people, the Ukrainian people, know that the world knows what's going on. They're not being, you know, left by themselves. Two pieces put together. It's not the first time they embark on such a mission. Their quilts give comfort to children hospitalized at Children's Hospital Los Angeles and have even comforted those that lost it all during the Dixie Fire. It provides warmth. It, it provides them with, I hope, with the feeling that someone cares about them. Thousands of squares have been created, but thousands more are still needed. So like with this block, it's Ukrainian flag colors, but there's the sunflower in the center. So, um, yeah, it just kind of, you know, makes you think about, okay, here's a simple block, but what can I make it to personalize it um, to help symbolize the people that you're sending this to. These will eventually go to a noted German quilter who will finish the quilt and distribute them to the refugees in Ostrada, Poland. After all that they have been through, they had smiles on their faces when they were they were presented with their quilts, which really was very touching, I think. Kids just, you know, left with a suitcase, and now here's something that's theirs, theirs alone. That was 70s Christian Galena reporting. The, the, the Tehachapi Mountain Quilters are continuing their effort on Monday at Stanley and Springs Community Church from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The community is invited and materials will be provided. You can find more information on our website, kget.com.